I'm Laura Joyce Davis, and I'm going to be sharing with you today the secret to creating dynamite audio stories. I want to start by asking you to recall a very specific moment in your own life. Remember, if you would, where you were on March 16th, 2020, when you learned that our world was shutting down. I've been home all day with my three young children, and I had tried to homeschool them, but it had failed miserably. Things were not going well. By the time my husband walked in the door at the end of the day, my kids were all fighting, and I was near tears. And he took one look at me and said, why don't you go for a bike ride? And I started biking up into the Oakland Hills. And I remember it was magic hour. The sky was pink and lavender. I remember I could smell flowers in the trees. And I remember that it seemed like everybody was out one last time before we were all holed up in our homes. And I remember too that as I biked up into the Oakland Hills, up and up and up, I felt this weight on my shoulders, this weight of feeling trapped in my life. And then something happened. I got an idea to start a daily podcast six days a week. I'd call it Shelter in Place. And it would be a podcast about reimagining life through creativity and community. Now, I want to be clear and say that I thought I would be doing this podcast for two weeks before life went back to normal. I had no idea that it would take me to where I am today, which is teaching narrative podcasting at Stanford University and also founding an online course and training program called Narrative Podcast. I also didn't know that Shelter in Place would end up having 200 episodes, that it would win awards, that we would be in the top 1% globally. But I want to share with you today the secret to how that happened and a secret that I teach students both at Stanford and at Narrative Podcast. And the secret is this. Great stories are made up of a series of actions and corresponding reflections. Or put another way, they're made up of beats of a story that include scenes and meaning making of those scenes. If you think back to the beginning of this talk, I described to you a very specific scene in my own life. And then I did the meaning making right after that, right? I, I told you this is what this moment would come to represent for me. I didn't understand that at the time. At the time, I just thought I had an idea that would take me through two weeks of my life. But as it turned out, that idea was the inciting incident that would kick off my story on its own narrative arc that's led me to today. So you can use this same model no matter what kind of story you're creating. One way to do this is before you've even started writing, you can actually map out your story. Think about a scene that could kick the whole thing off, some inciting incident, and then ask yourself, what's the meaning that you're making of that scene? And then go to the next scene. Where does that lead you? What's the meaning that you make of that one? If you look at the traditional narrative arc, you'll see you start with an inciting incident and you move your way through a series of actions and reflections toward the climactic moment of the story and then eventually to some sort of resolution. But you can also do this further into the process. If you're in an interview and you hear this person talking about some moment in their life that was significant, you can prompt them to speak in scenes by asking them, hey, what was that moment like for you? Can you take me back to that moment? Describe it to me. What, what did it feel like to be in your body in that moment? You can also ask them and prompt them to make their own meaning of what happened in that scene. Or let's say you have interview tape and it doesn't have any scenes. Well, this is a moment for you as a narrator to create that scene. You can even describe to us to imagine what this interviewee might have gone through in that moment and create that moment and scene. You can also use this model when you've written a script and you're far into your process and you're trying to figure out what's working, what's not working. 
If you can identify and map out your story in this way, you'll start to notice, oh, I have this whole long section where there are no scenes. Finally, if you found this helpful today, I hope you'll join us for one of our upcoming workshops at Narrative Podcasts or for our semester-long online course where we walk you through every single aspect of podcast production and teach you how to make episodes like Shelter in Place for yourself. Thanks so much for joining me today.